Wow. I picked up my bottle of this bathroom cleaner and I recognized something interesting. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, down on the label, like right down there. I, I didn't even think about it, but it just went boom. It appeared to me. And I recognized something interesting. I, 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 I casually glanced at the bottom of the label. Guess what it said, fellas? Women owned. Now, do I as a man going his own way think that women should own a business? Hey. Yes. Is it wrong to have this type of label on products? Maybe. I mean, because it's starting to reek of identity politics. Is this feminist SJW virtue signaling? I'm not sure yet, but let's dive in further. Let's dive in further into the topic and see what's happening. See, there's another question that you could be asking, guys. Who is behind the label? All right. Well, according to the website, because I bothered to look it up, there are two NGOs, non-governmental organizations, for those that don't know, supporting this label. The WBENC and the We Connect International Group, right? So the WBENC, that's a 501c3 nonprofit for all y'all in America. What that means is that they are um, an, a nonprofit organization. <laughs> if you want to believe that. But outside of America, it's called the We Connect International. All right? We Connect International. It's much like the former, except it's pertaining to every other country outside of this country. Every other country outside of America. America. If you understand what I'm talking about. So I perused both of those websites because there isn't much online in the way of business, news, Wikipedia, or any other news regarding these organizations on the surface. It seems innocuous, but my red pill kicks in at the most strangest of times, right? So here's what piqued my interest on all of it, all right? So I go to the We Connect International website. I'll put the graphics up if you see it. And the website linked below if, if you want to look at it. Now, do any of these companies look familiar? Feel free to pause the video, gentlemen, to look at these companies. Again, feel free to pause the video to look at this shit. It's all right. There was a press release naming... America's top corporations for women-owned businesses in 2018. All right. I'll bring another list up. All right. Do any of these companies look familiar? Now, how many rows must a man walk down before you can call him a man? Hello? Now, think about that Gillette commercial. Without spurging, without going crazy, without spazzing out, right? Do you see a Procter and Gamble label in those lists? Both of them. Do you see that? Wait. Now, do you see a connection? All right, let me hit you with this one again. Think about PG&E, not to be confused with Procter & Gamble. I was talking about that earlier. See, PG&E is the Pacific Gas and Electric, for those who don't know. Look at that. Look at that. Now, do you see a connection? Oh, by the way, PG&E pay bonuses to, a, 
to its top level staff despite the wildfires happening last year. All right? Think about it. Now, if you said no to both of my questions, do you see a connection with the Gillette commercial? Do you see connections with the PG&E commercial? I won't knock you. No, not at all. It's probably you making up your own mind. No worries, brothers. No worries, men. That's why it's your own way. All right? I'm going to put up a directory here. Look at that. I'm going to put up a directory. A search engine, if you will, for these companies. Now, fellas, be careful of what and who you support, even if you passively support it. One more time. Be careful, gentlemen, of what and who you support, even if you passively support it. Yeah, here we go. Share, like, subscribe. Donating is optional. And if I was to lose my breath right now, right away, right today, excuse me, one thing in my heart, one thing on my mind is that you all better know is that I went my own way.